Hi, my name is Sophia Turco, and this is my textile design capstone collection titled Re Remember. This collection includes jacquard wovens, dobby wovens, machine knits, and screen prints for apparel and interiors. Fibers made from plastics and petroleum products hit the mass markets in the 60s and 70s shortly after they were developed in the 40s and 50s. Now that is the norm for a huge portion of apparel and interior fabric today. You can see some advertisements from back then here, advertising polyester pants, nylon carpet, and acrylic yarn. Environmentalist and author Glenn Albertret coined the term solastalgia, a combination of solace and nostalgia to describe the shared feelings of homesickness caused by unwanted transformations to the environment or home, felt specifically in the same location as time passes. I feel a connection to this idea in a larger sense, thinking of Earth being our collective home, longing for the days before plastic was literally everywhere. So my question is, what would textiles look like if petroleum and plastic-based yarns never existed? You can see here on this color storyboard some more images that have inspired me. Specifically, the fully decked out living room at the top, I enjoy how the same or a similar pattern that's used for the seating is being used at a much larger scale for the rug. Seeking out materials for this project was not an easy task. Luckily, the textile community was always there when I needed some help. I explored a variety of takes on sustainably sourcing materials. Habu Textiles makes handmade yarns by Japanese techniques. The Alpaca Owners Association's yarns are spun from North American alpaca wool. And Made in America is Huntington Yarn Mill's web store, which is located in Philadelphia. Hemp Black, an industry partner I worked with on this project, is also located in Philadelphia. I use their carbon black pigment made from charred hemp herd or the inner stalk of the hemp plant for some screen printing. Onling is located in Denmark and Kelbourne Woolens is located in Philadelphia, and they both offer yarns that are GOT certified, which is Global Organic Textile Standards, that cover ethical and environmental regulations for textile and yarn products. With support from Hemp Black, I got to visit a local screen print manufacturing facility, Logo Warehouse, where I was able to get my designs made up for screen printing. Tina, a friend of mine who is a graduate student in the textile program, was kind enough to dye some of my yarns with turmeric and Hungarian paprika. Last but certainly not least, Laura Sansone and her work at the New York Textile Lab inspires me and who I strive to be as a designer. Her thorough commitment to sustainability taught me that as designers, we have responsibility to choose the materials we make with. And here is another concept board showing how I tie in inspiration from both the past and the present to design for the future. To the left at the top is a work by Barbara Solomon who created the super graphic system of large graphic stencil designs people would paint in different rooms of their homes in the 60s and 70s. Below that is a design by Annie Alberts. I love the way she uses line and shape to give her designs rhythm. Shown here is an image of all the textiles in this collection together. This first fabric is a completely reversible double cloth. The design is named Soul to reference soul nostalgia, but also because it's reminiscent of the sun rising and setting as time passes. The fiber content is goth certified cotton filling yarns and cotton warp yarns. On the left side are some family photos from my dad's side of the family that I really enjoyed looking at and revisiting the designs and colors from of my grandparents' house in the 70s. Soul is also seen here, screen printed in a smaller scale. And beside that, double check is a fully reversible jacquard knit. The white yarn is 100% North American alpaca, and the yellow yarn is a blend of flax, cotton, wool, and silk, naturally dyed with turmeric and Hungarian paprika. Gold Fashioned is a double faced jacquard knit made of silk mohair, got certified cotton, and merino wool. Double faced fabrics or fabrics that are able to be fully utilized on the front and the back offer twice the designs at half the volume. In other words, instead of say 10 different designs requiring 10 separate textiles, 
Dual use fabrics can offer 10 designs utilizing only 5 textiles. All of the Yesterdays is also a double faced jacquard knit made from GOT certified cotton and two different types of merino yarns. All of this allows for extended longevity for the end product, such as reversible knitwear seen throughout the last few slides. Philomelier is the last of the knits, also a double faced jacquard knit. The inside of the cardigan shown is the front of the swatch pictured next to it. So for screen printing, I realized that if I were to source the fabric that met the criteria of all the yarn that I explained earlier, it wouldn't be worth it. So instead, I decided to use the yarns I had and create files to weave plain surface fabrics on the jacquard loom. I tried a couple of different fabric types to print on, but ultimately decided to have three colorways of a 2-3 rib structure, which is a lightweight single cloth that has a nice drape. I mixed my ink from the primaries you can see in the center. Carbon black, orange water-based ink, and a yellow booster. By mixing different amounts of each and also adding an opaque base at times, I was able to get a wide variety of colors that gave way to even more when the prints were overlapped. This design, New Waves, is shown on the upper left as a screen printed lampshade and as a jacquard woven fully reversible double ball. The warp yarn is 100% cotton, and the filling yarn is cotton, merino, and got certified cashmere yarns. And here are some more family photos from my mom's side of the family. We're big fans of plaid, as you might be able to tell. The chair on the image on the right hand side shows the new waves woven fabric on the previous slide would work for both apparel and interiors, as do many of the textiles in this collection. A plaid woven is swept together beside the window as a curtain, and the small rug below the chair to the right shows another end-use application as a rug. When I was designing these fabrics, I realized that I didn't want them to be only for newly made furniture, but instead a reversible sewn cover that would extend already existent furniture's life, while also refreshing the space. Below the couch is a linen and merino roving woven, that would be great as a rug as it is tightly woven but still rather plush. Apparel that's usually made of canvas, denim, and other stiffer fabrics have a similar weight to this double cloth, so this fabric could be used for jumpsuits, jackets, or even pants as apparel that could be reversible too. Next up, this design is a magnification of six-strand wicker caning, a common interior furnishing material used during the mid-century. The fiber content is cotton and merino wool, and this double cloth is a lighter weight than the one shown on the previous slide, so this end use would be good in apparel for garments that are semi-structured or to replace fabrics that have some drape. The current location plays off both the contemporary location pin icon as well as the familiar graphic retro teardrop shape. Orange water-based ink mixed with carbon black made a deep brown shade which tied together my Dobby Wobin's collection very nicely. Thank you so much for checking out my project. I hope you enjoyed it. I learned so much from making this project and had a great time working with so many amazing people.